Hello and welcome back to Premiere Gal for another Tuesday tutorial. Today you'll learn about some new updates to the Essential Graphics panel and how to properly install and locate your motion graphics templates you purchase or design yourself on your computer. In this tutorial, I call motion graphics templates Mogurt files. So let's get into it. To start, just make sure that you're in the graphics workspace of Adobe Premiere Pro. To change that, just go up and select the graphics tab up here at the top. On the right side here, this is the essential graphics panel. And in the latest update of Premiere Pro, there is a new user interface design. So before in the previous version of Premiere Pro, you organized your Mogurts here into folders. Well, now the folders are gone. And now there is a search bar where you can search by keyword to filter your Mogurts, okay? And also to the right of that search bar is a star and you can actually hit the star on any of the Mogurts below to favorite your most commonly used Mogurts. So if you hit that star, you can filter by your favorites. And if you ever need to rename a Mogurt from the browse tab that you have here or add any new keywords, just hover over the Mogurt and hit that I button, which stands for info. And then here you can type in a new title or add any keywords that'll help you search for your Mogurts in the future. And below the search bar, you will find a new local templates folder, which I'll show you where to find that folder on your computer in just a second. And you can also search in your Creative Cloud libraries if you have any Mogurts stored there. You can also increase or decrease the size of your Mogurt thumbnails, which is the preview of the Mogurt, so you can easily identify your Mogurts visually. So how do you install a Mogurt into the panel? Down at the bottom right, there is a little plus button here, which means you can install or add a new Mogurt into your central graphics panel. For example, if you purchased a Mogurt from my website, premiergal.com store, or got a free Mogurt from my website, you can just select the Mogurt file and it will install into your local templates folder. And using this method, you can only install one Mogurt file at a time. But what if you have multiple Mogurts to install at once? For example, I recently purchased this YouTube Essential Title Pack and an Essential Typography Library Mogurt Pack by Easy Edit from Envato Markets Video Hive. And there are over 30 Mogurts in one of these packs. I have lower thirds, trendy titles, colorful transitions, search bars, and a whole lot more. And I've linked to these exact packs in my description box below. So since there are so many Mogurts in this pack, you can actually install all of these at once by dragging the Mogurts into your local templates folder. So where is this mysterious local templates folder? Well, on your computer, it's actually called your motion graphics templates folder, and it's hidden within your application support folders on your computer. On a Windows PC, you can find your motion graphics template folder within your app data folder here. And if you're a PC user, I'd suggest you pause this video right now and take a screenshot so you can write down this folder path so you can find your folder. But because I'm a Mac user, I'm going to show you how to navigate to this folder right now. So first you're going to go to Finder, then you're going to go up to the menu item Go, then select Go to Folder. And it will default to Library, just keep it like that, and then hit Go. Then from here, go to Application Support, then Adobe, and then Common. And then here is the Motion Graphics Templates folder, also known as the Mysterious Local Templates folder. And here is where you can install and see all the Mogurts that you have in your Essential Graphics panel. Because there were folders to organize your Mogurts in previous versions of Premiere Pro, if you were using the Essential Graphics panel, you might see some folders in here from before, but you can just ignore those. You don't need to make folders anymore. So if you want to install this large pack of Mogurts that I recently got from Envato Video Hive, what I will do is just click to select this first Mogurt of the pack, then hold shift to select the last one, and then I will drag all of them together and just drop it into this motion graphics template folder. And now back into Premiere Pro and we go back to the browse tab here and select the local templates folder. I'm going to scrub down and you will see that all the Mogurts that I just dragged into that folder are here. 
and now I can drag and drop any of them into my Premiere Pro timeline to begin editing. And from the edit tab, you can make any edits to this pack, such as updating the text, the position, and you can change some colors and adjust the scale until it looks right. And of course, you do not have to work from templates. You can also design your own titles and shapes from scratch in Premiere Pro using the edit tab here. Just click off the Mogart first in your timeline and then go to the edit tab and you will see here that there's a bunch of different controls and you can make your own text, shapes, and I have a full course on how to design your own Mogurts in Premiere Pro available on Pluralsight. And I'll link to the full course in the description box below. And lastly, you can search Adobe Stock here from the Browse tab for motion graphics templates. And you can search for free or premium templates, which you have to purchase. If you're interested in getting one of the free templates here, you can click on the info and you can hover over that thumbnail for a preview of that template, which is pretty cool. And below that, it'll show you duration, size, and what type kit fonts are used. So you will be asked to sync those type kit fonts once you drag this template into your timeline. And it also gives you a brief description and some keywords. And then of course, just hit that download cloud button here to download it into your central graphics panel. Now, if I go back to search and type in one of the keywords from that template, it will appear here and then I can drag and drop it and use it in my Premiere Pro timeline. So I've linked to some of the premium Adobe stock templates that I've designed myself in the description box below, but I'd encourage you to check out some of the free templates here just to see if you like using Mogurts in your projects. So that's all for this video. If it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. YouTube likes it if you like my videos, it helps my videos do better. So thank you in advance. And also be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I make new tutorials every week. Lastly, if you want some free Mogurts or any templates I design, you can go to patreon.com slash premiergal and become a monthly patron. And at the beginning of every month, you will get some free templates delivered to your inbox. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you later this week for another Friday effects tutorial. You guys should get excited for this one. It's going to be awesome. See you soon. Bye.